Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. <sighs> Episode 16 left us with a little bit of stress. Um, Daichi went down. Okay, had his big moment. He finally got recognized for what he can do in episode 15. He was making some moves in episode 16, reminding the guys of what they can do, giving Hinata some tips. And then critical point, he crashed into Tanaka and now he's lying on the ground. So I'm a little bit freaked out. Um, I would like to think that he's fine, right? He's okay. You have to throw in a cliffhanger every now and then. But my heart is racing a lot as I'm even saying this, so I'm a little bit worried. Um, so they're taking on this new team after passing Joe's and G. Didn't like them anyways. Did like their manager though. Um, so this is critical. So we need to see what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna dive into season two, episode 17 of Haikyuu today, The Battle Without Willpower. I'm not gonna read into the title, okay? I'm just not going to. So let's get started. I'm hoping for some good news because I'm sweating a little bit. So season two, episode 17 of Haikyuu is coming right now. When did he not to become the star? Yes. See? Yes. Hinata literally didn't even know how to pass like yesterday. He still doesn't know how. He's doing great. I get that. But I really love that Daichi is getting some recognition. He is the foundation. Gosh, I hate seeing him laying on the ground like that. Concussion protocol. Just a little floor burn on his face. <laughs> もし脳震盪を起こしてたら怖いからな。先生、あと任せていいか。大地さん。すみません。なんだろうか。お前が川に入ってんの見えてたのに、体が勝手に突っ込んじゃったんだよ。でも見ろ。お前の返した今の一本
当然だ任せろおおまいガッシュアイフォーバディチルズおおおいクラップうんオーケー Thank you, Oikawa, for the play-by-play. -play. Ugh, anyways. Getting hurt in a match is the worst. When it happens, like, when it happens to your teammate or if somebody has to go out, like, that is so terrible. Um, luckily, he seems okay. He's lost a tooth. I mean, cool, gross, all of the above. Um, God, he will probably be back. I think he'll be back. They're gonna check to make sure he doesn't have a concussion. The tooth is what it is. He can get it fixed later. Uh, the floor burn on his face, a split lip, it happens. Like, flesh wounds, you know, minor stuff. But the concussion is the big one. So I think he'll be back. He doesn't seem to be concussed. He is completely like coherent and with it. Um, love the little back and forth between him and Asahi to like hold down the floor and like, I don't want this to be Daichi's last game, okay? I don't want it to be Kyoko or Suga or Asahi's last game either. So I'm really convinced that even if Daichi doesn't manage to make it back, they're gonna win, okay? It's not over for the third years yet. Um, and Tanaka, Oikawa needs to stop. You know what? Tanaka usually is guided and that makes him good. He's, I hope he doesn't fall apart. This isn't his fault, it's part of the sport, okay? It happens, so I hope that he just is able to put that in perspective. ふだんから Yes, I told you. Ha! Anoshita's going to step up. We saw a smidge of his leadership in the last episode. I'm so happy right now. Like I keep getting full body chills. This in a good way. And like my goosebumps are popping. Um, okay. The younger ones don't have the tact to say the right thing. So they seemed like Kageyama, Hin like Hinata, all them kind of were putting a little more pressure on Inoshita, Tsukushima, ugh. We're putting a little more pressure on him 
I mean, Noya just thinks about the game and the strategy and tactics, so he's just being him. But to see him just like get in the zone and be like, okay, time for me to step up. And then like Asahi is, oh, you guys, it's gonna be fine. Inoshita has got this. You heard it here first. And Oshita is going to be the captain when Daichi and the third years move on. Mark this. Sarah said season two, episode 17. And Oshita is going to be the next captain of Kirasuno. That was like a triple hit on that set, I'm just saying. That thing was spinning. Okay. Just a bit of nerves. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this. Perfect pass. Come on. Killing me. Rolling thunder in your face. You guys, did I just predict the future? Yes. Oh, an Osha backstory? Yes, please.
Sometimes you just need a little perspective change to understand what you have. It's not always easy. It's not always fun. Sometimes you want to run away, but maybe, and I think a lot of the times, removing yourself from the situation for a little bit to just understand and to know if you really love something or you really miss it is really important. And I think that this was needed for him. And I think, didn't he refer to him leaving the team briefly in season one? Like, I think it came up just for a second, but I do remember him referring to this before. I don't think that should affect if he's the captain next year though. Okay, that's what I was thinking. He's back now. No, I do not think I wouldn't consider what he did being a coward. I think if it was a pattern of behavior, it might be a different story. We can talk about him not having a good work ethic or being lazy or as he's saying, a coward. He did it once, he was miserable. He didn't know if he still loved the sport or if he still wanted to do it. So he gave himself some space and removed himself from the situation, which I think is very, very healthy. If you haven't been there, I'm happy for you, but a lot of people have been in similar circumstances, not just in sport, but in everything. And so I think being able to give himself space and figure out if it's something he wanted isn't cowardly, it's strength and like taking care of himself. So I hope he can put that aside, really. Nail this pass. Actually, a very good pass. That's all you can do. Fight! Did anybody notice that he tossed that sir with two hands? He usually tosses with one. I hate that guy's hair. Oh. Was it 22-20 now? 
Deep breath. Nice. Dude, yes. He's going to crush it. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. You guys, I literally, this episode has been the biggest goosebump fest of my life. Holy, like, this is, this is amazing, okay? Tsukushima, he's a smart, smarty pants. Okay, we all know that. But in his own way, he made sure to let Yamaguchi know that he has no reason to be scared. And then Inoshida, being able to show an incredible level of vulnerability and to express how he is feeling and how terrified he is in order to help calm him down. Like, this team is oh, the best. V different characters, they are for sure all over the spectrum in personality, but just the way that they have each other's back and support one another while staying true to who they are, I'm gonna pass out, really. He's, oh, this is gonna be great. <sighs> it's gonna go over this time. This is a replay of last time it happened. Oh, we're good. <laughs> now he's got it. He's, got, he's gonna make a good serve this time. Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. And no, she's to the rescue. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm with Yamaguchi on that. He needed to go for it. Don't be a baby. I think he's going to say what I was just thinking. Jump 
守りに入ることが一概に悪いわけじゃないと思う結果今はカラスノの得点になったしでも今のただしにとって他の連中と同じように戦うための武器は唯一さ、うん、それから逃げたら何も。残らない。そんなもん。フライド以外に。何がいるんだ。ズッキーニがあんな偉そうなことになったくせに。俺はこんな根性なし。くそかっこ悪い。Here's the word lame again。大丈夫だ。脳震盪の心配はないただ口の中の出血と痛みがひどいみたいだ念のため少し安静にさせる<笑>分かってます<笑>勝って沢村に次の舞台を用意するそれ以外今考える必要はねえよ Completely agree. I mean, I mentioned it before they got into it about like Yamaguchi just needs to go for it. That's his job, especially like if they're putting him in to serve, he needs to be confident. And like there's a reason that they're putting him in instead of keeping Tsukushima in because Suki could have done a serve like that. You know what I mean? So my heart is breaking to see him tear up like that, to see Suki kind of like blow him off. It's like given their past interactions, <sighs> but it's true. That was a very, very important lesson for him, I think. My guy. Wow, Oikawa. With that music when he talks, evil villain. <sighs> He's hoping. Sure, will it be perfect all the time? Absolutely not. But, like, come on, dude. Well, looks like we are going to see the end of this exciting match. Um, not sure Daichi will be back, or maybe he'll make an appearance at the very end. No, I don't think so. I think he's out for this match. Um, so, I know the beginning of season two, it was like, it started with a bang. But this episode, I was like so impacted by it from start to finish. Like, this could be up there with one of my favorite episodes of season two. I know we've got a little ways to go, but like, wow. To see Inoshita step up, to like see the captain discussion, hear his backstory, to see how the team responded to him, and then Yamaguchi coming in for his chance to serve, and then how the team responded to him and like used their own way to like make him feel comfortable and to see them fight, like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, this episode was so good. Another thing that I liked, like, I don't know if that's a term, but like so many of the episodes have Kageyama and Hinata at like the forefront of what's happening. And neither one of them really had a big role in this one. So I thought it was really cool 
how, you know, some of the other characters kind of like took the spotlight for a second. Um, wow. I was like on edge that whole episode. I'm gonna have to like take a nap after this, but I'm pumped. I need to see where this is gonna go. Um, so like always, hit me up in the comments. I promise you I did not know that Anoshita would be in the captain discussion. I said it and then like two minutes later they brought it up. I had no clue. So let me just give myself a pat on the back there for one quick second for that prediction. Um, but hit me up in the comments below. Love reading what you guys have to say. And I mean, as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to tune in next time for episode 18 because we need to see how this match ends. Thanks, guys. <laughs>